Hello! In this dash to the finish now we're going to take a look at doing the loading screen so that when our players, potential players, are waiting for the game to load they realise it is loading and it's not just empty space. People will get annoyed if something doesn't happen within the first five or six seconds that they're looking at screen. They'll just navigate away if they don't have a display. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do the bulk of it or all of it in the timeline but just note that this code could quite as easily go in your document class. I'm just doing it for the sake of simplicity in the timeline here. So we've purely got the loading code. For anyone watching this video who hasn't done all the ones before it, you'll still be able to take something from this. So I'm going to get into the actions of my uh, first keyframe. The first thing to do is stop the swift here. So we're just going to stop. We want to update the loading progress regularly. Reg we can do that with a timer, we could do that with um, different types of event. I'm going to use an enter frame event, so I'm going to add event listener, event.enter frame, and I'll call this download progress. So we need the function to handle that, the download progress function, responding to an event, so we'll pass that in. We don't need this import because it's in our document class. If you're watching and you haven't been doing the videos, you might need that. I'm going to get rid of it. So in here there's a there are a few things that need to happen. We need to know how much is loaded. We'll leave a line for that. We need to know how much there is to load in total. We can figure out a percentage of it, so calculate a loaded percentage. And um, display it. And finally do something when it's fully loaded. So we'll, we'll uh, work through these one by one. Start with the first one. We need to know how much is loaded. And I'm going to store that in a variable. So I'll have a var called loaded. And it's going to be a number representing the amount, amount of bytes that have been loaded since the, the download started. And I'm going to get it from the stage object. So I'm going to type stage. Dot, and to get to it, we need to go to the loader info of our stage. Normally, a loader info would um, be associated with something like a picture that you're loading into your flash file from a certain web address or something along those lines. But in this case, we're getting the loader info of the stage itself. Type another dot to get to the properties of the loader info, and we want the bytes loaded. So that tells us how many bytes have been loaded so far. Underneath that, we want to know how many there are in total, so we'll have var total equals stage dot loader info dot, and you guessed it, bytes total. Percentage here, we'll have var percentage, and I'm going to make it an integer so it rounds itself, and it's going to be 100 times loaded divided by total. That will give us the percentage of the um, bytes loaded. We're going to display that, and I'm just going to trace it out. So I'm going to trace percentage. And we want to do something when it's fully loaded. So when loaded equals equals total, that means we've totally loaded every byte that needed loading. I'm going to remove this event listener, first of all. I'll paste it in and change add to remove and I'm just going to trace finished I'm going to save that and I'm going to test it and you can see that we're instantly loaded because we're running the file from a local place now you might think you have to throw it onto a, a web server and download it to test it that's not the case if we run the SWF again and come up to this view menu 
we can actually simulate a download and there are download settings to let you pick a different speed. Now my SWF file is only about 45k so if I choose a high speed it's going to download instantly anyway. I've, I've settled on 56k because that gives us about 10 seconds to work with. So I'm going to simulate a download now. Notice that the screen goes totally white and we don't actually get the loading screen displayed. And I'll go into why that is in a second when we do finally load. You can see that we didn't start tracing that value until we got to 99%. So that's no good. We only managed to do four frames of loading before it was finished. And the reason for that is if we look at the timeline, look at the library, sorry, we've got all these objects that we use in our in our game. And if I right click on one of these that are exported for ActionScript, so any of these that have ActionScript linkage, if I right click and go to properties, you can see that they are told to export in frame one. And that means they're getting exported before the loading screen arrives. So we're loading 99% of the content before the loading screen is even displayed. So that's obviously not what we want. I'm just going to skip out of that and show you a quick way of fixing it. I'm going to go File, and I'm going to find my Action Script settings. And I'm just going to use this little box here that says Exported Export Classes in Frame and change that from 1 to 2. And press OK. Do what we did before, go to an object, right click on it, go to Properties. You can see now that they've updated to export in frame 2. So if I test it now, in theory, we should be able to simulate a download and have a bit more of a display going. There'll still be some white space because um, there's a lot of content that needs to be loaded in order for this to even display. A lot of the display classes, anything you've used inside your document class, has to be loaded in before this because the document class controls the whole SWF. The SWF will not run until that's loaded. But you can see we started at 24% at least. 24% of the 40k, you know, that's that's acceptable. People aren't going to moan about having to load 20k or so, even less, before it starts running. It's a lot less than 20k. Don't know what was going on with my maths there. We can see that we got traces as we were loading up, all the way up to 100, and it said finished. Just have a quick look at the document class. You can see that all of these um, classes and libraries and all this code is loaded in before the loading screen display. So we're not doing too bad to start quite quickly there. Eventually when these get bigger, when all your library objects are more detailed, when you've got more sounds, they're, they're quite big. When you've got more graphics, more pictures, mine are just lines, so they're tiny. If you use bitmaps, they, they start to take up space. You won't even notice that first 20K loading up the loading screen. And then the loading after that will take a lot longer because your flash file is bigger. I'm waffling on, just want you to understand what's actually going on. I'm going to update it a bit, so we'll have a loading bar, which, which means we don't need the code for a second, just minimise that. I'm going to change this as well because it's using a pretty hideous type of text, it's dynamic for no obvious reason at the moment. Change it to static, I'm going to make it use the project font that I've been using all along. So we'll get to the top, use project font. Stretch it out a bit, change the text, just put loading. We could animate that if we're feeling the need. I'm not going to for now, but I am going to put a loading bar inside there. So I'm going to go to my library, I'm going to duplicate my energy bar and call it loading bar. Press OK. Edit that. Just find the part that's responsible for the colour, so I need to unlock it, hide the mask and zoom in. So I've got the blue bit, I'm just going to make that white. Very white and slightly off white. There we go, a little bit of a gradient on it, why not? Show everything, lock everything. Back to scene one and drag my loading bar in. Position it, really doesn't matter for the sake of this one. And let's give it an instance name. So I'm going to call that loading bar with a little L. Go back to my script. 
And because we've already figured out the percentage and my loading bar has 100 frames, instead of tracing it, I'm just going to put loading bar dot go to and stop percentage. Save that and test it. Now, fully loaded there, but if I simulate a download, shortcut is command and enter or control and enter, you should see when we get past the initial um, 20% or so, we get a loading bar. And that's quite good. We get to the end and it's finished. That's bumped up the early amount of loading because we now have this movie clip symbol that needs to be loaded in before the loading screen will display. So there is a bit of a, a playoff to be done with content of your loading screen and actual functionality. I'm just going to update it again to have a text field inside it. So I'm going to edit my loading bar put a dynamic text field in there so we can show the percentage uh, no, sorry, just going to put a new layer for it at the top shrink it down, just put some placeholder in there, just put 1% so I can have a reference and shrink it a bit, let's see, you don't need 35 And let's give this a name. I'm going to call it percentage again. Percentage text. Okay. Go back to my scene. Update the text as well as the loading bar. So loading bar dot percentage text dot text equals start with a, a blank string, otherwise it it doesn't like using a number straight off the bat, so I'm going to do a blank string plus percentage plus a percentage symbol. And I'm also going to change the blend mode of my percentage text just so it it inverts the colour of whatever it's above. Like the perks did, if you remember back. Loading bar dot percentage text dot blend mode equals invert. Try that. And simulate a download. And you can see we have a loading bar with a percentage. Ta da! Finally, last step when we're loaded, instead of just tracing finished, let's uh, play. Player. We can play, or we could actually tween this stuff. We could use our tween in, tween out. I might have to remind myself what I've done. I think there's a target frame. Let's just check that one works. Right, so that works. Let's try the tween in, tween out stuff. So I think it was target frame menu. And then we'll tween out. Oh, we can't tween out because we never tweened in. <laughs> we'll have to tween in at the top. and do a simulate download woohoo wasn't expecting that to work to be honest but it worked better than expected so I'm going to uh, leave this video on a high note have fun with that one